Alex homework video on deducing a rate law from the change in concentration over time. Okay, this is a doozy of a problem. Um, I went ahead and wrote, uh, wrote some notes out so that I wouldn't spend 40 minutes doing this video uh, because there's a lot of parts to it. So I just went ahead so that I can show you. You are going to have to be, to be finding the rate law, either a first or second degree rate law from data points from an experiment. Okay, so in this example, you've got um, you've got a, a gas in a, in a reaction vessel that is being used up or going away and it's being measured over a certain amount of time. So you are then from that data to wanting to see is it even possible that I could know is this a first order reaction or a second order reaction. So I just wrote down some first things. So a first order reaction, remember, is simply your, your uh, constant, which they do not give you times the concentration of the stuff either being produced or being used up. So in this case, um, it's going away, so this is being used up, and so if it were a first order reaction, this would be the rate law. Now, when you're talking about a couple different concentrations, you usually use the integrated rate law. Remember, that's calculus that you do a calculus function on. So um, for a first uh, order, it is the natural log of the material, so this is the gas, it's going away, whatever we, uh, whatever our current uh, amount is, divided by the original uh, molarity. Okay, so the, the current molarity divided by the original or, uh, or molarity equals negative K times T. Okay, so that is the integrated rate law. Now I want to remind you uh, of logarithmics. This is a rule of logarithms um, that would help you here. If you have the natural log, in this case, of x over y, so something divided, it's equal to the natural log of x minus the natural log of y. So I rewrote it, and I'll show you why I'm going to rewrite that, because we're going to need to graph this. And if we can make it a straight line in a typical Algebra 1 type of graph, where you have y equals mx plus b, m is your slope, uh, then you can graph it. What we're going to see is if the graph of this, um, this first, uh, if, you, if you take this first order uh, integration formula and you graph the components of it, and the graph is a straight line, then you're going to have a first order reaction. If you do, if you, um, if you find what it is, what the integrated rate law for a second order reaction is, and graph it, and it's a straight line, then it's going to be second order. So what you're going to do is you're going to take these data points and graph them, and then find out which one is, is a straight line. So in order to get this integrated uh, rate law into a y equals mx plus b, we take, the, we take what I said, the natural law of x over y equals natural log of x minus natural log of y, and I just re rewrote it, natural log of the molarity of C2, Cl2O5 minus the natural log of the original equals minus Kt. And then when I, got, when I brought it over, I end up with Y, that's the natural log of, of your current molarity, equals your M would be your negative K, your T is your X, and your natural log of your original uh, is, is your B. So we simply need to, uh, to take these, uh, these measurements and take the natural log of them. And then when you put them in, see, graph them and see if you can find a, um, a straight line as a result. This is second order. The second order um, integration is one over the concentration minus one over the initial concentration equals positive Kx. So I simply just, you know, I added it to both sides, found out that I could find, I could get it into a form of y equals mx plus b. I'll ask myself, is it a straight line? If it is, then that's a second order reaction. So in the first order reactions, I need the natural log of the concentration. So I just took this number, 0 0.0500, and put to push the natural log button, my LN button on the calculator, 
and hit, this is what it gave me, negative 2.9957. And I did this for all of these. I then, for a second order reaction, I need one over the concentration, so I simply took a one, I did the reciprocal button, I put 0 .5, 0 0.0500, 0 0, and then put the one over X button, and these are my, these are my concentrations for that. I also remember that, that this has to be in s per second. These are, th this rates are always per second. So since they gave me 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, that won't help me very much. I needed to put these into seconds. All right, so that, that's the next thing I did. I simply made myself something that I can graph. My first one, I'm gonna graph the first one, okay, where I'm gonna have the time on the bottom and the natural log of the concentration on the left. Look and see if it's a straight line. Then I'm going to do it a second time with the time on the bottom and, and the one over the concentration, see if it's straight line, and that would be a uh, second order. All right? So the first one I did was the natural log of CTL, CL205. And so I see at 600 seconds, it was about negative 3. And at 1,200 seconds, it was here. Now this looks right to me. This looks like a straight line. So my guess is this is first first order let's look let's look at the other one here's the second one this is the one over the concentration and i see that i've got uh, i've got a j curve here so that means it has to be a first order reaction it's a first order uh, reaction because it was a straight line and the second order was not so in order to do this, so I know what the rate law is. It's simply going to be, um, the rate law is going to be K times the concentration of Cl2O5. That would be what I would do as my answer for the first part. Okay, so this is going to be K times the molar, the, um, the molar concentration of Cl205. So that's the first part. The second part, I'm going to need K. Okay, so I remember that K is my, negative K is my slope. Well, if negative K is my slope, then K is equal to the negative slope, and the slope is the rise over the run. Okay, my rise, remember, is my, my run is my time, and my rise was the numbers that I made when I, when I took the natural log. So the natural log of the, of the first one, the natural log of the end. So, so here was the natural log of the first, uh, the one up here, the zero, and then this was the natural log of the last. I just kind of made it stretched out. I used these two, and then I divided by 2400, and I got K equals 0 0.0010301 over seconds, and that's going to be my K. And so I'm going to put that here. This is going to be um, K equals 0 0.0010. Um, and then this is over seconds, or if you want to do seconds to the minus 1, uh, either way, it's going to work. So nasty, nasty problem. But if you do it nice and slow, put it into its integration, put it into a y equals mx plus b and then graph it, I think you'll get it right, okay? Wish you will.